Are you having a spasm? Mm -hmm. And it's more of a truncal spasm that's going on right now. So, okay. I'm gonna put that down. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen you. You hadn't really spasm since you came in here. So. And I can tell you, I was here when EMS brought her in, and she was having full body spasms. How long does this last? Let me capture that. So blood pressure's up a little bit now. Uh, now, I think we've given you some Ativan here. Yeah, that didn't. It didn't? It, it helped, but as you see. So when you have these, these spasms. I, I try to see. You gotta, you gotta stay mellow. Because it's used to last an hour. Okay, they kicking and all. Yeah. I have to act like I'm somewhere in the wide. This is not happening. Just relax. Take it out. See? Talk to yourself. Do you find in situations where you feel more significant emotional stressors, does it ever cause Yes, it causes, this? I think, stress. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so when you have these spasms, they last, what, 30 seconds, a minute? Well, I used to last an hour. I talked myself out of them. Okay. Now they're down to maybe a minute, but lately they didn't happen so much. So um, you, you have stiff person syndrome, very rare condition. Yeah, otherwise known as stiff man syndrome. So tell us a little bit about th this condition because it's, it's extremely rare. No original origin. They don't know where it came from. Nobody in my family has it. I um, was working at the hospital, started stiffening up, started falling. I went to the... Um, Neurologist? Neurologist. Yeah. Couldn't find nothing. That right. was crazy. He said, go to the psychologist. So how many years did it take? Eight years. Eight years. Eight so years. you were you were actually told that this was a mental health issue yes, that, so that you that you were yeah, bluntly. Well they don't know. Wow. Yeah. This is right. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. New Jersey. Excuse me, yeah. I'm gonna shut the door for sure. So I felt stiff. I was walking away to the hospital as a computer operator. I pushed and pushed and pushed it and I started falling. The muscles start um, I was hundred and eighty seven pounds, believe it. It shrunk down to this. There's no cure. You get worse. I'm the longest person they know that has this disease. I keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Now you, you look like you're 19, but how old are you? <laughs> I'll be 54. 54? Yes. Okay. Um, now, it, your smile's a little bit different. Why is your smile different right oh, now? Oh, Bell's palsy the other day. That was diagnosed just this yeah. week that just, you had. I just called it yesterday. Bell's palsy. And, right. and then they, we put you on, they put you on some valacyclovir. And, and they put prednisone. You, and prednisone. And then... You went home, and all of a sudden, your stiffness got worse. Yes. I started having spasms. And that's why you're back here today. Yes. All right. Well, I, I came here originally to do the port for the plasma phoresis. Right, for the plasma phoresis. Yes. Right, right. And plasma phoresis seems to help. It uh, does. Tell, before we go to the treatment, though, um, tell us a little bit about how this presents with you. I mean, do you get, like, muscle spasms? Do you get, like, seizure-like activity, yes. but you're not seizing? Yeah. They're not seizures, they're muscle spasms, where the body just shake, 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 shakes. Okay, so right. what, what shakes? Your your arms and legs or... Mostly or, the bottom trunk. The bottom trunk. Yes. Right. So it's more of an axial muscles yes. that are being involved here rather than the, the, the arms and, and legs. Exactly. Now, sometimes people with stiff person syndrome actually get diabetes. I got it. You've got diabetes yes. too, so you do have it that. And so, so basically, it's it's a, the the disease. I understand that this is as close to the thing that this is most close to is like tetanus. What has helped you treatment wise? Plasma phoresis, you said. Yes, that's the main thing. IVIG for a while, but after a while, your body expects that. And I broke out all over, and that was it for me. Okay, so you were, take much you were having a hypersensitivity reaction to that. Yes. Oh yes. All right. Like that. Have you ever had a baclofen pump? No. And I was against that because I break out very easily. Okay. I don't want any pumps stuck in me. Okay. See, the plasma, the, the port that I'm going to get, the freezes, I come in here every six to eight weeks and get new blood flushed in me. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's the better route to go. Okay. And I don't want a pump because a pump sometimes can cause infections. Yeah, and, and cause infections and the pumps can have their problems too right. and they run out yeah. of the medications and all that. Yeah. So, Kate, Caitlin, did you have any other questions? 
you said it in New Jersey that there seems to be more people that have it in New yeah. Jersey. They're a lot well, more familiar with it. Yeah, in New Jersey and in Maryland. They had 10 people in a room, and I was in a room with them. And there's people walking around, there's people in a wheelchair. It's just not here. Mm-hmm. Is there a genetic component at all to it? I know you said your no. parents are the first no. person no. to no have it. No, no original origin. Okay. They don't know where it comes from. I met the guy that did the research. He said, you'll never walk. And when I went to John Hopkins and I got another doctor, he called a guy from Israel. He said, Minnie Brittingham is here. She's walking. He couldn't believe it. Can you get around the house at home? With a walker or in a wheelchair. Okay, so you have a walker? And a wheelchair. And a wheelchair. Okay. And I have a Superman chair. So, so you are able to do the activities of daily but living? It, it wears you out. You're tired. Yeah. Because I've had it so long, I'm getting tired. Yeah. The importance of doing this sort of uh, interview is, is for people to actually see a real patient and hear their story because it's going to educate other people who may be going through the same thing. You know, it and took six them. years, exactly. If they want to have my email, they're welcome to even talk to me on my email. Yeah. Because it's not the end. People didn't think I was going to last this long. Yeah. Mini Daily at yahoo.com. Okay. It's very deteriorating, very depressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I have to try to keep going. Yeah, you seem like you're hanging in. You're I'm, hanging well, in there. Well, I'm putting on a good Tough. front. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are downtimes, of course. Um, my doctor knew some from Maryland that when I come here because he agitates it. Mm-hmm. He moved from here mm-hmm. to Maryland for John Hopkins. He said this is bad for me because of the heat. Mm-hmm. I only came because my husband worked for the department. Does yeah. the heat bother you? Yes, it, it makes it worse. It does. So I okay. If you were to take a hot shower, that makes it worse. It, the house has to be a term, certain temperature. Okay. Can't be heat, can't be closed in. So what words of advice would you have for anybody out there who has the same condition or who have just been, di- okay. been diagnosed? Okay. follow up and keep a regimen. Always take your pills the same time every day. Okay. So so be very religious about very, taking your pills. Yes, and, and, and with your insulin. Everything is, I'm, I'm very anal about these things because it just keeps me going. I wouldn't be here yeah. if I didn't do what the doctor told me. So what what sort of things kick this off and make it worse? Is it, have you, is it lack of sleep? Is it uh, warm, sleep, hot weather? Hot weather, stress, stress. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, doing this video with us. <laughs>